Howdy folks, John with Thomas Muse Guitars. Most of you probably know my shop, my main uh, wood shop is in my garage. So it's a two car garage and most of it is taken over with machinery and workbenches and saws and storage and all the things needed to, uh, to make cool guitars. But I also have to share it uh, with bicycles and lawnmowers and grills and regular garage type stuff. And along with those garage things come spiders. Look at those webs. Now, I'm about to join a top and I need those two red bar clamps there, right? So I've got to move my little hole digger and my, uh, my weed whacker in order to get those bar clamps, but there's an evil spider. He's a big one too. I saw him earlier. He was up in this area somewhere, but I don't see him now. But uh, here's my plan. Oh yeah. We're going to uh, remove the webs before we do the other things. All right, let's fire up the web, web remover. Ooh, there's a moth. Begun. Nice. Let's see if we can get at those clamps now. All right. There's our hole digger. There's our weed whacker. There we go. One clamp. This one's tightened up a little. Two clamp. All right. Very nice. And we didn't have to encounter a uh, an angry spider. And uh, perhaps he was he was sucked into the web remover. We don't know. All right. And we'll put these back. So it's sort of a, uh, a Rubik's Cube. There we go. All right, that'll work for now. Now we can go over here and start joining our maple top. This is a really cool maple top. And we cut that up in our last video. You can see I kind of drew an outline on there. We can avoid this discoloration and this discoloration. And all we've got is just cool uh, curly maple figure. All right. So we're just going to stick that together now. Now, here's the question. What kind of glue should you use? I've, uh, I've used Type Bond. I've used... Uh, fish glue I have used hot hide glue and uh, for joining a top I've also used a uh, uh, urea what do they call it plastic resin glue I used this for my last build to join the top to the body 
and this stuff dries uh, very crystalline and hard so it's it'll be the best at transferring vibration uh, across the members uh, we could try this um, yeah let's go with this all right uh, hold tight and I'm gonna mix up a batch of this get my clamps ready and put them over there get everything ready to go and then uh, and we'll uh, join back in a video all right hold tight all right we're all set up with our with our clamps and our wood everything's ready to go I've put packing tape on the ends of my clamps because nothing sticks to packing tape I got a couple of calls to use in the in the middle of our our glue up here and we should be all set so I'm using this stuff this is plastic resin glue or uh, you'll find it under urea formaldehyde glue and it's just another option it dries crystalline super super hard and in my estimation that's uh, that's one of the, the best ways to transfer energy through wood is through a, a super hard super hard uh, resin or glue as opposed to like a PVA glue, which is uh, kind of plasticky and rubbery. This dries super hard. So here's the way it comes. It looks like a uh, just a very fine powder. And this stuff definitely does have a shelf life. If when you mix it, it mixes up clumpy or gritty, they say it may no longer be uh, good for use. So it's pretty simple to mix. It's a five to two ratio. So I just need a little bit. What I have here is a little measuring cup. See, it's got the cc's there. Well, I know this is five cc's. So if it's five to two, then I know that I need 25 cc's of powder. So there's 25. Let's see what that looks like. It's just a little bit too much. Put a little back. we're good 25 cc's so we're gonna add just a little bit at a time so you can see just to give you an idea of what we're looking at that's how much powder you put in and that's how much water okay so they say put in a little bit and when it's ready to go it should look like a paste so let's go ahead we'll put a little bit of powder in and we'll start stirring it up powder oops a little more powder
Look at this go. We're getting there. We've gone through about half of our powder so far. And it's looking pretty smooth. This is riveting cinema. Maybe I'll put some music over it, make it more interesting. But it's looking pretty nice. See it thickening up there? It's kind of like it's about tight bond consistency now, but they say it's supposed to be sort of a thicker paste. So. All right, let's do it. Put it all in. Going all in. Oh, little puff. Puff the magic urea formaldehyde glue. Oh yeah. Oh, it's starting to get sticky feels a little thick you know I would uh, I would probably water down the mixture a little bit but it says uh, you should have a one to two hour pot life and uh, you have a uh, a nice open time, uh, working time with this glue. So there you have it. You know what? I'm going to add just a touch more water. I'm going to add like one cc. Just to loosen it up a little. Right, that's beautiful. I think she's about ready to go. Everything is fully hydrated. And there's what it looks like. Kind of like, uh, I don't know, pudding? Uh, maybe, maybe it's a little thin for pudding. Kind of like uh, uh, Hershey's chocolate syrup. Or whatever brand you, know, you prefer.
Okay. Beautiful. Now we got that all mixed up. I'm going to cover the top here because it is kind of sensitive to uh, humidity. So always keep it sealed nicely. All right. I'm going to bring you over here a little closer to our to our maple. And we'll butter up some edges. Glue this bad boy up. In their dog in front of our house. Of course, my dogs have to let them know that they're walking in front of their house. I've heard that dogs only have two words, hey and what. So that must have been their hey word. Yeah, that's a hey. So I got a little on the face there. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to sand all this nice and flush. Oh yeah. Beautiful. All right. Bring your glue on there. There. That one goes there. Back off here a little. Line up our little guitar marks. All right. So uh, let's put just a little bit of pressure on. Now, once there's a little bit of pressure. Put my end clamps on. Remember, I've coated these end clamps with the packing tape. So, nothing will stick to them. These are 11 SP vice grip clamps, by the way. You can get them, get them at Menards for like $21 a piece, and I have like 10 pairs in the shop. Uh, my background is with uh, sheet metal and steel fabrication, so we use those constantly in, uh, in sheet metal fabrication. And... Uh, I just love them for general purpose stuff in the wood shop. Not everything transfers uh, from uh, from steel to wood. Uh, when, you're, when you're building things, but I'll tell you what, these clamps sure do. I'm talking about these. These are just eight inches from uh, from Harbor Freight oops Everything feels nice and flush. Let's go ahead. 
take a rag and get rid of some of this major squeeze out. And we'll give these clamps another another nice squeeze. All right, and that's it. That's as hard as it gets gluing together a top. Now once this sets, I'll take it out of the clamps and I'll, I'll probably run it through my drum sander. But if you don't have a drum sander, you could just uh, hit it with the DA with like 320 grit uh, and be done with it. So I'm going to wipe off the back side. Spin it around. We'll be back here so you can see what's going on. So y'all can see. And this top is about, I'd say, five sixteenths thick. And I'm just going to leave it as thick as it wants to be. And uh, I'm going to use binding on this. And the binding is a quarter of an inch. So I think it'll be cool to have that little extra bit sticking out the bottom. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got closer to 3 8 So 3 8 is good. Nice thick top. And there you have it. It's all over but the drying. All right, so there, there's a, a top that we put together with plastic resin glue or urea formaldehyde glue. And let's see what it says for cure time. There's a working timetable. Open after bonding. All right, so it looks like we have our, uh, our assembly time, our open glue time is uh, 15 minutes at 70 degrees, 10 minutes at 80 degrees, and 5 minutes at 90 degrees. Beautiful. Uh, I'm trying to find out where it says how long until it's uh, until it's done. Minimum clamping pressure. Oh, okay. Clamping. It looks like hours uh, 14, 8, or 5. So, you know, 24 hours. I'm going to let it sit for a day. Can't hurt. And I got some uh, some open glue. Some glue in this pot here. And it should remain open for several hours. All right, so uh, if you want to see how this is going to get glued to the top, stay tuned and uh, make sure and subscribe. This is John with Thomas Muse Guitars reminding you, every machine is a smoke machine if you don't use it properly. Peace out.